What's up you guys? So welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a normalish video. <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom. So this video, I'm just gonna be dyeing my hair. A lot of you guys ask me how I dye my hair, how I got it, the color that it is, and stuff like that. And so I just thought I would show you. So you tell my roots are super bad. So I thought I would just go through the process of dyeing my hair and what it's like to get it this platinum -y blonde. Right now it looks kind of like greenish, almost. That's rude. Ignore the fact that I'm not wearing any makeup and I look <laughs> slimy as anything in this video but I'm gonna be like showering for starters we have to get in the mood so we're gonna light a candle oh god amazing beautiful fire hazards love it and then is that I don't want to mess up my awesome sweater I'm going to change into something a little less becoming but okay if bleach gets on it so this shirt works perfectly it's um <laughs> an alien with a lot of donuts so I think that makes sense you know, I think I pronounced this wrong in my head. I say clariol, but I don't think that's correct. I think it's play, play, play roll. I don't know, but this is the brand of bleach that I use. And it comes like this. It has a scoop and it comes in a bag like that. And what I like to do is take it and kind of put it around so I can easily get in there without it getting too gross and messy. Cause this stuff feels weird on your hands and I should always use gloves. I never do. I really should, but I don't. I just got a new brush because I left my brush at school. So this is my new one. Pretty excited about it. I splurged, spent an extra dollar because it was cute. I like the purple. But yeah, you can really use like any kind of... We're going to put a few scoops of bleach in. I'm putting two scoops in for now. And then you have to have developer. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, don't damage your hair. Use nothing above 30. I use 40. I really don't care if my hair gets like wickedly damaged because it doesn't because my hair is magic and it just is soft and fine because I use good shampoo and conditioner. This is what I use, the 40 volume cream developer. We're gonna pour this in here, like a good amount. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna use the brush to mix it up. And this smells like really <laughs> Um, I can't breathe. I gotta go. Bleach ASMR? Ew! This is a cute look. Yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of start doing. My root's starting from the... Okay, so I finished this first layer. There was a spot in the back, I don't know about it. It literally hurts so badly. It stings like nobody's business. Beauty is pain, people, beauty is pain. So I'm probably gonna leave this in for like 25, 30 minutes and then I'm gonna hop in the shower. So I just went to go start cleaning my room to like take the time while this develops to, you know, organize my life. But instead, I thought since this is a hair video, I'll take you down a little hair memory lane of my poor hair decisions in the past. The first thing that I ever really did with my hair was in ninth grade and it was like winter of ninth grade and I got bangs. I cut them myself. They were way too thick. It was like so horrible. They were so thick. Posted a photo of myself with the bangs and I was, and everyone was like, oh my god, Taylor Swift, like Emma Stone. And I was like, you guys, yes, I look amazing. It was a bad decision. I had this little like ombre moment. My sister and I dyed our hair ombre and that was fun. And then, you know what? I'm over this. I want super short hair. And so I cut my hair super short. That was when I was like thought that I like looked a lot like Carly Kloss and I had like the Carly cut. We can dream big, you know, that's fine. I cut my hair, it was super short and straggly and scrappy and stuff, but I liked it. I then really wanted blonde hair. I wanted to go like platinum and blonde my mom was like no way and so I just used like a crap load of sun in and I put it in my hair and it was so bad so then my mom let me go and get some box dye and I dyed my hair blonde but then again it was just box dye and I just did it once I didn't like do it over and it looked 
terrible. It was like yellowy orange. It was just not a good look. Yeah, and so then after that, I really, really didn't like that. And so convinced my mom to let me dye it back to my root color. And so I went to her hair salon for the first time. I like normally only had gotten my hair cut either by my mom or by myself, hence the horrible bangs. And this was like one of my first times actually going to a real hair salon. And so I went and she dyed my hair back to my roots, but um, made it a lot more like red auburn than it actually was, didn't look good. And then I also had this photo of Katie Holmes that I like was obsessed with. And I was like, this is, this needs to be me. Like I love this haircut. So I asked for this haircut, didn't really work out, ended up with something like this which was like really not cute. Oh, and then after that, once it started growing out a little bit, the like auburn red color kind of like grew out. And so I already had this red at the bottom of my hair. We both did purple hair and that was kind of fun. I had it underneath and I like felt super cool. Sometimes in photos it would show up like way more pink, which was awesome. And my mom said like only to do it underneath, but I was like, haha, sneaky. And I did some streaks up top too and felt like really cool. And then I was like, you know what? I'm over it. I want a pixie cut. <laughs> So after like hundreds of Pinterest posts on pixie cuts, I got a pixie cut. I had it like really long. It was like long pieces of hair, but still like a pixie cut. So I would like cover my face. It was kind of like a bowl cut, honestly, like a little bit, but at least once it started growing out, there was like still pieces of purple that like never left my hair. They just like never left, like from when I dyed it in the front and you know, my mother knows best. She was like, only do it underneath. And I was like, no, 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 I'm doing it in the front too. And there in the front, it just never went away. So the bangs were back and that was a little moment. The bangs went away and then I just had my natural hair. I let my natural hair grow all the way out. Or I guess it's like a lob, but like it was just totally natural. My brown hair, which is kind of crazy seeing me now with this hair and seeing my brown hair. Like, But then I was going to go to college and I was like, new school, new life, new me. I'm gonna try this whole blonde thing again. It's like, I'm gonna do a balayage and I'm gonna do it so it's platinum at the bottom. Like this was my inspiration picture and I got nothing like that. She literally, like I'm so, oh god, literally every time you go into a salon they're like, we don't want to damage your hair so we're only going to do this much in here. You can come back in like six to nine weeks and it's like, girl, I can just do this all in one night. Probably uh, hairdressers are like quaking but I don't care. So I went and I asked for the balayage and it was just not blonde enough. My hair was like still dark and I was like, <laughs> And I asked for like really cool tones and she was like, I thought I'd go for something a little bit warmer. And I was like, I hate you. Um, so it was really annoying. But then, so then I got to school and I was literally leaving for school in like two days. And so I got there and I was like, oh, so I remember sitting on my bathroom floor with like these strangers that I never met of roommates. Um, and I was bleaching my hair with box dye because I wanted it to be blonder and I did it and I think it turned out pretty well. I actually had that for a while and I really liked it and I would touch it up every now and then just with box dye and I like really liked how that looked. I had that into sophomore year and then my terrible, disgusting, horrible, trash, garbage boy of a boyfriend that I had at that time broke up with me and he had this whole thing about like, you're not allowed to dye your hair, you're not allowed to cut your hair, you're not allowed to do anything unless I approve it and the answer is probably no. He was controlling and terrible and I don't feel bad about putting that out on the internet. Yeah, but so then we broke up and I was like, you know what, screw him, I'm getting pink hair because this is something I've always wanted, it's gonna be amazing and I'm gonna do it and I did it and I hated it. And I think I realized that I did it out of just kind of like spite, out of being like, I can do whatever I want, screw you. So I got splat hair dye from CBS and dyed my hair pink and I did like an ombre thing again and I went to New York like the next day and I was like, a new woman and I literally had my hair up the entire time or like in some kind of hairstyle like it was literally like down maybe once because it, it just looked so bad and then when I came home I got color oops whatever and I undid it I like put that in my hair and supposed to like take the hair dye out and it didn't do it fully because I know that reds and pinks are kind of hard to take out but it was it was fun it was actually it actually turned out really great it was this kind of like peachy like rose gold color which I did really like so I had that for a while so then I'm going into sophomore year and first quarter goes back I have this like rose gold hair, loving it all as well. But then my new boyfriend, yeah, shows me Game of Thrones and I was like, oh my God, Khaleesi. 
I have had a board on Pinterest forever called Bombshell, and I've really, really wanted platinum hair. I mean, and then when I just started watching Game of Thrones, I was like, okay, yep, it's in the bag, we're doing this. Oh my god, it feels like my hair is falling out of my head. And I did it myself just the way that I'm showing you now. And I did it in like, over the course of two days. I think I had to dye my hair like eight times. All right, so if you guys remember when I had pink hair, I like took the pink out, but then it never really fully went away but well, that's what like all this is and so we were doing a second treatment second we went to walgreens and got yes. it's not in here it's it's our last resort it's color remover yeah if this bleach round two doesn't work and I did it in like two days and that was ridiculous. And it looked really good. And then I went and I met Matt's family and I had blonde hair and I was like, hey Matt. And he was like, Khaleesi. Just kidding, that interaction didn't happen, but pretty much I was Khaleesi at that point. So then I let my hair get as long as it ever has been in Hong Kong. And that was like so much fun. I loved having long hair. I've never had long hair like that before. And I could just do it in all these cool different like styles and I loved it and it was super fun. I got a message from this girl who has this awesome hair studio here, hair salon here in Richmond. And she was like, hey, if you, vlogger woman, post about my salon and doing your hair and all that stuff, I will give you free anything you want for free. And I was like, yeah, I really want to go pink as if I didn't learn from the last time. I don't know. But I was like, I really want to go pink. So I came home and I was like, here's my inspiration. She did it a lot bolder than I thought, but I actually, I really like, I like it. it looked good but I didn't like she styled it in such a way that looked like so good in the studio but then out of that like my hair after bleaching it my hair used to be like pretty curly and now it just is like sleek straight like it doesn't do anything since bleaching it so much so it just like has no texture and with this like weird like different toned pink hair it just looked really bad because I didn't know how to style it and I didn't know what to do and so I kind of let it fade out <laughs> like I was going to the beach for a week like two days later I was like, so like, can I swim in the ocean? Can I swim in the pool? And she was like, no, 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 it'll fade really fast. And I was like, oh darn, okay. And then I got there and I was like, this looks not good on me. I'm gonna go underwater. So I did and I sabotaged myself, but for the better because I didn't really like it how like bold it was. So yeah, she thinned out my hair a lot when she was dyeing it pink. Just like she cut it up. She was like, I'm gonna cut some dead ends. <laughs> he he he. And like thinned out my hair so much to the point where like my ponytail was like that big. And I hated that. Like it was it bothered me so much like I couldn't stop like running my fingers through my hair and being like Where is my hair? And she was like it'll grow back in like three months and I was like I'm not that patient So instead I just cut off all my hair I did it in that uh, Instagram video where I was like Instagram controlled my day if you saw that you saw me cut my hair I'm just gonna go for it. Start small, okay? <laughs> good bit of my hair gone. Do you like the look? It looks so good. Okay, wait, I'm gonna change. I'll be back. <laughs> so I actually really liked the short hair when it was kind of that like peachy pink color. It was super cute. And then that faded and that grew out. And then I went back to school and my roommate Anna has colored hair and she, her hair is purple now, but she used to dye it pink. And so she was like, here, have my pink hair dye. And I was like, okay. So I dyed my hair another like super pale peachy pink again. And I liked that and it was fun. And then it faded. And now here we are. That's the whole story. And that's really long. Hopefully I can cut that down to make it short short enough. My head actually feels like it's on fire and I'm scared that I'm gonna have no hair um, when I come out of the shower, so <laughs> shower time. It's a new day. Actually, it's been a few days because I've just been really busy. And also, I sort of take back everything I said about don't feel afraid to damage your hair because it happened again, folks. My hair broke off. I didn't think it was gonna happen this time, but I guess just because I, I don't know why. An example, as you can see here, I have like no hair. This isn't just like parted like that. I actually have like no hair right there. It's all here. It's all short. It's not fun, you guys. It actually broke when I was bleaching my hair. So apparently that has to do with just all of that being bleached too much, so be careful with that. And I thought I was through with that stage. I mean, look how long this baby had gotten. This guy, when I first had it, was like to here. Literally like cut off so short. And now she's so long and I'm so proud. But then the unspeakable happened right in front. <laughs> Might as well get bangs again, guys. But I think this time it's micro bangs. Just kidding, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually gonna, gonna do that to myself, but I do have to do 
one more level of reach. Honestly, a little bit scared because I don't want this to happen everywhere else on my head, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Can you see that it's like kind of orangey? Like right on my roots, it's just like a little bit orangey, so. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can see it right there. Wow, that like looks wildly different. <laughs> Okay, this looks pretty bad. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're gonna play it by ear, but it's round two. I'm not gonna do a time lapse or anything. All right, you guys, so this is the final product. I guess I should take my hair. I'm happy with how it turned out. It's still a little bit yellowy at the roots, but just because I actually don't wanna damage my hair into oblivion, I'm gonna tone it probably in the week or two, just so I can like wait a little bit more and give it some more time. And I just use the Wella toner for that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like stuff like this, if you like me going down memory lane or you like me making fun of myself, just let me know, comment down below. Um, and be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and all my jazz. I will see you guys later. Bye.